Hey people, it's me Tori and welcome back to my channel for part 9 of Let's Play Dragon Mania Legends. I'm sorry by the way if you can hear my dog Tilly barking in the background. She's a bit of a loud mouth. Yeah, no, I'm not buying these. This is a legendary dragon and a glorified legendary habitat for £25. But today we're not doing anything particularly special, we're just working on levelling up my dragons because I think that is what we need to do right now. So my divine Chang'e dragon has just got the level 3 divine skill and we do have enough money to get to the level 4 divine skill so I guess we'll send her in for that one. And we have a treasure chest from the mine exploration. I have 62 gems, I'm getting there with the gems right now. Because I want to upgrade my hatchery to level 2 because this level 1 hatchery is just no. I'm really sorry about Tilly's barking by the way. She is, she's a loud mouth. Uh, we can feed it up a little bit. I want to try and get the dragon of the week. Oh I love in its baby form. You can see the rain dripping off of the dragon. The rain dragon is seriously cool. I'm sad it's only a common dragon. Oh you can still see the rain. Okay, I love this dragon. I'm sad it's only a common dragon because oh my god would I love to have this dragon on my team. It is so cool. Possibly one of my faves. Love the rain dragon. I don't know, when I think of dragons, like I think of these kind of scales. It's just the epitome of dragon to me. And with the extra like rain effects, so cool. Love that dragon, honestly, love it. Ooh, 10 gems. Will not say no to 10 gems. Don't know what they're for. I didn't really pay much attention, but we are getting closer to leveling up our hatchery, which is great. I decided to breed a kind of an epic dragon off camera. I can't remember what dragon this is. I think it's the Aurora dragon. So we have three days, 15 hours at the time of recording to breed the algae dragon of the week. Let's have a go. I don't think these are high enough levels to get the dragon of the week. Okay, lucky breeding. Yeah, okay, we need 20 unsuccessful breeds. Yeah, it's not gonna happen in three days, 15 hours. Let's level up our rain dragon to, I don't know, 10 or 15 maybe? How are we doing for food? Can we, can we, can we go to 15? Oh, I don't have a void temple. That answers my question. No. <laughs> okay. Um, Right, let's breed ourselves a an algae dragon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we didn't get it. We got a cloud dragon. That sucks. Well, I don't think we're getting the dragon of the week. I'm busy tomorrow. I'm busy the next day. So no dragon of the week, I guess. Ah, sucks to suck, I guess. Okay, let's open up our gifts. We got some energy, which is very good. Okay. We can do lots of battles today. Ooh. Can we do this one yet? No. These dragons are level 40 and our dragons, our strongest ones, are in the early 30s. So it's just not going to happen. But we do have a shadow temple. So we can try and get our divine leveled up to level 30 today. Well, this is not going to happen. We're not going to have enough food. But, the, but I just got the shadow temple. I need level 2 shadow temple. I don't understand. It allowed us to level up our divine dragon to level 20 without a temple and now suddenly it's like nope you need level 2. Oh that sucks so bad. I don't think we have any shadow dragons. Let me check. <laughs> oh that is so bad. Okay I'm upset about this. I can't level up my dragon. Our oh, poor dragon stuck at level 20. Fine I guess we'll level up our Maya dragon. Can we get her to level 28 today? Possibly. Possibly. Might happen. Okay. Let's do some battles then. Let's do some battles. We'll get some food. Okay. You know what? Let's enable our VIP. We have seven of them now. Time to use them. Now we get the extra food from our scroll battles. I love to do this. It's just a good way to get food. Probably like the best way to get food and gold and stuff and experience points. So if you don't do your daily scroll battles already, which I feel like anyone who is kind of experienced in Dragon Mania Legends would know to do that, if you don't already, 
do it. It's like so useful, like genuinely so useful. Like, see, we're leveling up. Level 54. Very nice. We're going to level up our Maya Dragon a little bit more today. If I could get her to level 30, that would be really nice. I mean, I would love to have her on this team. But if you didn't know, the Maya Dragon was actually the dragon that I got from the Primal event. Now, I didn't know which dragon to pick. So I let a random number generator decide my dragon. So the Maxine dragon, the Corgi dragon was number one, I believe. The Juniper dragon was number two. And the Maya was number three. And the random number generator picks number three. So I decided to go for the Maya dragon. I suppose it's always useful to use like a random generator when you can't make a decision. Ooh, food, very nice and arena energy and we have 11 amulets right now because i kind of neglected this account i don't know what i would do with these two primals anyway i mean if i got the juniper i'd probably set it as my my little icon my avatar um but i don't need another primal i guess so we could i guess unlock either the polar bear or the seahorse I don't know which one would be more useful. I'm leaning towards the polar bear just because of the void element. It's another different element and it might be useful to have a dragon leveled up with a different element. I don't normally use void, but if I'm wanting to do like any future castle events or something, void element might be good. So I'm leaning towards the polar bear, but I'm not too sure. I will have a think about it because I don't like to rush into decisions. I like to think things through, even though it's literally just a game. Like, who cares? But, you know. <laughs> okay. Can we level up our Maya yet? Yes, we can. Okay. So at level 27, she has 131,892 health and 18,397 damage. Let's level her up. She now has 158,272 health and 22,076 damage. That was quite an increase. That is, that is pretty good. Okay, no, I don't want that. And I think we're pretty close to getting her to two star enchanted, right? Yeah, we just need to work on the wind pieces. I suppose we could do some arena battles. Oh, we got some easy and some medium. Okay, I will take that. Oh no, I used a divine. I. <laughs> Why did I put that on my team? She's level 20. Okay, I will fix that on the next one. It was a good job. It was an easy battle. We still won. We still won. And we get some enchantment pieces. Any wind? No, of course not. The game never gives me what I want. Okay, auto select. There we go. That's better. We need to replace this mercury dragon. Because although I like having three dragons with the water element, it's, it's a rare dragon. And it only has the two elements. A little bit kind of garbage, really. So when we level Maya up or get her enchanted, we will replace our Mercury. We have, a, oh, we have so many dragons we need to hatch. Still haven't hatched Shadow and Light, which is really, really embarrassing. But I blame this, this silly level one hatchery. Do I like it? No. Okay, I suppose Maya is, although she is literally two levels lower than our Mercury dragon, and they are enchanted to the same amount, the attack is actually higher. This is why you should not use Rez. If we could get her enchanted to two stars, that would be, that would be so good. But I suppose we can use our Maya dragon in the arena, maybe? Oh no, Maya! <laughs> no, my poor Maya dragon. Okay, she's weak. She is weak. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna put auto on because I'm feeling lazy. Okay, we need to try and level her up a little bit more. I suppose there's a primal with every element being a strong attack against primal. Primals are not the best. <laughs> oh no, we lost 27 trophies. That's just, that's, that's embarrassing. Oh, it was a little bit embarrassing. Oh, and this is one day, four hours. <sighs> and for a level one hatchery, that is, that is not cute. Since we have seven energy, I guess we'll do some more scroll battles. I'll just quickly and, oh, okay, we can't speed through that one. 
<laughs> okay, we can't do that. Uh, I'll just speed through like a load of scroll battles. We'll get some food and stuff. Ooh, that is an easy battle. That is an easy battle. Easy. Okay, and we got a decent amount of food from it, which is which is all good. And having VIP active is so helpful. I, I love VIP. We just racked up a load of VIP and I didn't even realise. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to do some more levelling up of our Maya Dragon because although her health and everything and her stats aren't particularly bad, I think she has the best health out of the primals. I might be wrong. I know that the Juniper Dragon has the worst health out of the three primal dragons that you can choose from. Although her health isn't too bad, Obviously with being a primal dragon and every attack apart from primal being strong against you, obviously it means the primal dragon gets defeated quite quickly, which is kind of annoying. But equally, primal is quite good because then you can use the bloodlust skill and put it on other dragons. Then that can make your attacks like super strong. So I do like having a primal dragon. Um, we just need to level her up a lot. That is the trouble with primals. Divines are obviously better, but I don't think you can double up divines if you have two divine dragons. I don't think applying divine bless from two divines actually does anything, but you can double up primal attack and combine it with divine. So it might be good to have a primal. I don't know if I make any sense at all. It's quite late when I'm recording this video, but look. She's so fluffy and cute and she gave us another gem. I love her. Genuinely, I love her. Well, I suppose I've done like pretty much everything I can do for now. I suppose I can plant some food and we can do our four daily sigil battles. Again, I think they're kind of easy. I probably shouldn't be doing auto battle, but I... I don't want to think about what attacks to do right now. I'm too tired. Oh, we can get a sigil chest. Okay. If you could give us an actual good sigil, I would be impressed. I would be happy. These sigil battles, the sigil chests, they never give me the sigils that I want. They give me, like, useless sigils, like Havoc. You know, I don't need that. Havoc is a bad sigil. Or Daredevil. Ah, oh, Daredevil is my least favourite sigil. Your dragons, they lose health. I, I just, I hate it. It's bleh. I hate the daredevil sigil. Probably the worst, the worst sigil. You will never see me use a daredevil sigil. Never. Watch it give me a daredevil. Oh, an uncommon. We didn't get a daredevil. <laughs> that is fine. To be fair, I don't particularly like the turtle and the chi sigils. Not a huge fan, but purity? Cool. Can we upgrade any sigils? Daredevil. No. Blech. Okay, we can get another purity. Okay. Okay, because purity is a good sigil. I suppose we could... We could change Havoc and put purity instead. Okay, not that it really matters. We're not going to be using our divine for a long time because we need to upgrade this silly temple. I hate the temples. The temples, they suck. Since I have 11 amulets and we're just not going to get another primal, I've resigned myself to that fact now. It's time to make a decision. Are we choosing the polar bear or the seahorse? See, I love them both. Let's look at their stats. 214 and 64. And 212 and 64. Okay, we're choosing the polar bear. Aww, what a cute dragon. But that's like pretty much everything that I can do for now, I guess. I know we didn't do an awful lot in this video, but if you have enjoyed, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope you have a really good day and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.